I've always been mean as shit, but I used to have a little more of a jovial, fun sort of attitude about it, but now it, there's just nothing, nothing fun. I've evolved like everybody will, uh, given life in general. My legacy will be built upon blood, and carnage, and broken bones, and I don't worry about what the future will hold for how people will remember me. Josh Barnett! Josh Barnett! Draw stripper, draw stripper, gets plus one, plus one. Okay. I just played Hero's Downfall, it's destroyed target creature or planeswalker. For, for those of you who may not be all that familiar with Magic the Gathering, it is a collectible card game. Each person takes on the role of a wizard or a sorcerer of sorts. You play your hand out using monsters or spells to defeat your adversary across the board. I started playing Magic when it first came out, and tonight, this is how we're gonna sharpen our mind. You have to sharpen your swords, you gotta, you gotta get your, your, your physical aspect as honed as possible, the weapons of war. But you gotta be able to have a good mind to use it. So tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Magic the Gathering, which may seem as, a, as an unusual training exercise, but let me tell you, once you have Thunder Maul, Hell Kites, and, and Lord of the Pits flying around. You better have your wits about you. I grew up in Seattle, Washington, in a little area called Ballard. Um, I was a jock slash nerd. If it wasn't athletics, then it was video games or comic books. So I went to the University of Montana. I thought about walking on the football team, but in the end, I just knew that football wasn't right for me. I didn't really care to try and tell somebody how many times I could bench 225. I just knew that fighting was gonna be the path for me. I saw a UFC sophomore year of high school, which would be 1994. It was UFC 2, and something about it registered immediately with me. And my thought was, I don't know how, and I don't know where, or what it's going to take to get involved in this, but I'm going to do this one day. This I saw as the ultimate of competition. This was as close to war as you could possibly find, besides actually going to it yourself. And you know, I am a person that has no problem being as absolutely bloodthirsty and cold-hearted as possible. It's easy. I don't have any trouble with it. We've each got a creature out. Mine has the ability to become flying, which allows me to continue to hit her, but He's small, he's a 1-1. One, one. She's got a 2-2 two, two gutter skulk zombie rat out. So there ain't gonna be much blocking on my part unless I want to sacrifice, get rid of my dude. Flying, 7-7, seven, seven, but whenever Lord of the Void deals combat damage to a player, exile the top seven card of that player's library, then put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield under your control. So you just fuck their deck over and then you take the best card out of the group. The first fight at 19, it was like a lot like my first wrestling match in that everything seemed to happen all at once. Someone had pulled out, wanted to know if I'd be interested, knew I was training, asked if I was ready, and I said, sure. And who am I fighting? And they go, oh, Chris Charnos. I go, oh, okay. The guy's already fought pro in Super Brawl, and you know, he's already been out there. And they're like, yep. And I go, I'll fight him. I choked him unconscious in two minutes. I didn't have any fear. I didn't have any lack of confidence in going out there. And in fact, at one point, Chris put me in a toehold and I didn't even know what a toehold was at the time. Like, That's a shit really? draw, but okay. I'll play it. Are you playing again? Super Brawl was throwing a heavyweight tournament to see who would be the next big rising star, next, next big thing. So I go out there and I fight three fights in one night. I beat the world's strongest man, 230 pounds and under, from Finland. I beat uh, John Marsh, who was the neutral grounds champion. And then I beat Bobby Hoffman, who was the extreme challenge champion in the finals to walk away with uh, the grand prize. I fought uh, for a super fight title against Dan Severn, who was one of my idols uh, when watching the early UFCs. And I went out there and arm him in the fourth round. The Ultimate Fighting Championship offered me a chance to go fight in their show. Three of my favorite cards are, one I like Mike Kassi on Hallowed. He's a zombie cleric, he's got Intimidate, 
Whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. But the nice so, part about him is other non-human creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have undying. So even if, if you murder it off the board, it just comes back again with a plus one, plus one yeah. counter on yeah. But it only gets to do it once. And he looks like the dude from Ghost. It's an ogre that is like a rat tender, and if you have him, like all your rats do different shit or something. Yes. Interesting. I walked into the UFC cage after seeing it for so many years and watching every event that they had, they had put out there. And I walked into the Octagon, this famed arena, and I just I walked around it, walked over to my corner, said to Matt, "It looks bigger on TV." I'm just like, well, maybe I could throw him over the top of this. This was not, I, I can't believe I did it. This was, okay, I was supposed to do this. Now what? This bristle brand is a, it's a 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink demon. But you pay seven life, draw seven cards. But he's flying, so you pretty much fly over and do the damage anyways. You pay the life, who cares? And now you can go pick through the cards to get exactly what you need. So it helps speed your deck along a lot quicker. I don't know, I got all kinds of crazy shit I've got. Norwegian black metal. I'm always listening to a random assortment of just music in general. Some Inquisition, Watain, Goat Whore, Black Dahlia Murder, Merciful Fate, Every Time I Die, Melvin's, stuff just flowing through, man. You just never know. I listen to it in the room before I go to the arena, and that helps me prepare to, to die that day. So I throw my life away, I listen to my music, I'm done with everything. I don't have any concerns anymore in the world, any love, anything like that. I'm all done with all of it. So I go to the arena and the last song I listen to before I ever fight is For Victory by Bolt Thrower. And I, I just go out there and I, I, go to, I go for blood. I didn't have enough mana to cast what I had and I didn't get the cards that I needed. So it did not work. <laughs>